State officials are sending out warnings to small businesses about illegal marijuana products being sold in West Virginia. One Morgantown business owner received the warning and is worried about how the, it impacts the reputation of his industry. This is a blooming industry that is already coming in with a hard enough stigma, and then you have people doing things like this that make it just a little bit harder. Small CBD and Delta 8 stores are feeling frustrated as the West Virginia Department of Agriculture warns consumers about illegal hemp products being sold in the state. The department says edibles are being packaged to look similar to popular foods and candies, and some sellers are claiming their products are Delta 8 when they're actually non naturally occurring cannabinoid products. What this means is people are adding an oxygenated acid to these Delta 8 distillates or um, different products and everything to make them uh, synthetically stronger. Consumers need to look out for stickers that cover up the marijuana label on the package. People can also tell if they took a different product than Delta 8 by how they feel. Delta 8 is way less in the head causing way less anxiety. And it's not like uh, if somebody's expecting like a shot of vodka and they end up taking a shot of grain alcohol where they could potentially become violently ill and have to, you know, go to the doctors or something. Realistically, you're, you're just going to fall asleep and wake up and think, oh my God, I don't want to do that ever again. Nick Marie is the proud owner of the first CBD Delta 8 bar in Morgantown, Buddy's Buds. He says warnings like this from the WVDA are incredibly frustrating for the people who want to do things right. Marie personally ensures customers are getting 100% hemp derived products at Buddy's Buds by working directly with three specific farms. I have done random inspections on my farm, and every time it's the same because. They started out doing it the right way, and they're going to keep doing it the right way. Marie encourages more places like his to ensure the safety of their products and heed the warnings from the WVDA.